Hey, welcome to the program. This is Coastal Daybreak here on the Talk Station, FM 107, AM 1240. And thanks for joining us here today. And uh, we have our next guest on, right? Uh, good. Uh, we we had this young man joining us uh, uh, earlier, uh, once once before, to talk about a movie that is premiering called Dog Gone. It sounded like it was a lot of fun for the premiere and also had a, had a serious purpose behind it as well, too. And he joins us again with another very moving movie, uh, called the uh, Butterfly Jackson Story. Denver Hollingsworth with us. Good morning, Denver. Good morning. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? We're doing very well. First, I'm going to ask you back about Dog Gone. How that all went for your premiere. um? It went great. It really went fantastic. We um, I think when we came there, we were about to show it for the second time after we showed it for the first time. And the mm-hmm. first time, it went really well. We raised um a thousand dollars for the Ichthyosis Foundation. Mm-hmm. And afterwards, we showed it in Wilmington to a small crowd, and we even raised some more money after that. And then uh, I think I did some DVDs. I made some DVDs, and we sent some DVDs out to the community. And um, it, it went really well. After that, it went really well. Well, now, again, uh, tell us, remind us a little bit about the Ichthyosis Foundation and what that is, and then uh, why that uh, plays such a big role in this uh, next movie. Uh, the Ichthyosis Foundation, it's actually called FIRST, and it stands for Foundation for Ichthyosis and Related Skin Types. Mm-hmm. And it is a nonprofit foundation that helps to um, raise money for research for funds or for research for cures, because there's no cure for ichthyosis. It is a genetic disease, and it raises money for research for cures. And um, we've been a part of, or my family has been a part of the foundation for a long time, ever since my brother Jackson has been born and it helps to raise all that money and it also helps to provide treatment for both ichthyosis patients and their families because it centers a lot on families also right uh was was he diagnosed really pretty much right at the at the beginning yeah when the disease is the or the condition is it's pretty apparent and um mm-hmm. whenever he was diagnosed they could tell a par- probably about an hour after he was born that he had that because um, babies like that are born with a type of thing called a collodial membrane mm-hmm. and it's as if the skin's really tight and taut over the body once they're born and usually a collodial membrane is the first sign of, a, of ichthyosis. Well, you decided to, again, as a young filmmaker, aspiring filmmaker, to, to chronicle you know, some of your family's um, accounts here in your, in your life, again, with uh, Jackson. So tell me, Tell me a little bit about what that was like. I mean, it, it must, was it hard or was it uh, fun to do, easy to do? What was it? Um, I, All of that when above? When I started, it did not seem like it was going to be hard. Um, but I think I uh, overestimated <laughs> or underestimated how hard it was going to be. And um, it, the reason, I think... When I, I used to make narr- uh, when I used to make the narrative films and the kind of the silly comedy films mm-hmm. I used to make, like Doggone, um, it was never that difficult because I always had a story in my head and I always knew what I was going for. But with this one, this documentary, it was a bit difficult just because I don't. There's not a story to follow. It's just our life that I have to cover and make a story out of somehow. Mm-hmm. And I think that was the hardest part that having to. Um, film, it wasn't ever a big deal to film my family because they're not shy of the camera because I've had them on for a long time. <laughs> you, you've sort of and, been almost had the camera in your hand uh, for years, haven't you? It, yeah, it's <laughs> not, they, they're not that shy of it, so they're fine with the camera. But I think the hardest part was filming all these things and then making it into a story that actually, of course the story would make sense, but making it into a story that could fit into a film. Mm-hmm. I think was the most difficult thing. Now you're going to premiere this movie, or uh, tell us yes, about that. I and am that's coming up today, going, right? Yeah, it's actually it's, it's tonight. Actually, I'm going to premiere it uh, tonight at my school, at East Dupont High School in Beulahville, at 7 p.m. And um, the admission is three dollars, and all the um, proceeds from that go to the First Foundation. Now, if you want to get a people want to get a little sneak preview, you have a YouTube link, don't you? Oh yes, I have. Um, YouTube.com slash Jackson story and no spaces in that either, but um, it is it's got the preview to the documentary and a couple other little special clips. Well, 
Well, tell us about the title, Butterfly. I think I got that from the uh, clip I saw. So tell us, tell us how that comes out. Um, well, for the title, I, uh, for a long time, even while I was making the film, I didn't know what the title was going to be. Mm-hmm. And it came to me when um, my mom was talking about me, or talking about, for a long time, I, the ichthyosis symbol for first was a butterfly, mm-hmm. because the patients that are born with ichthyosis are kind of born in a body that's almost like a cocoon, mm. the skin is so tall, the skin is so tight, and, um, but inside of themselves, they're a butterfly, and they're, fly, and they're um, a social butterfly, and that is the best way to describe Jackson that... Um, I've heard of it in a long time. Yeah, I think one of the and, teachers in that clip even said something about that, or somebody says. Yeah, something. without me even a lot of times without me even um, pointing them in that direction, yeah. the people I interviewed were saying he's a social butterfly. He's a um, he's a butterfly in metaphorically in the sense of the word, and also compared to the symbol of ichthyosis, he is a butterfly. And I thought that fit him. He's very optimistic, very outgoing very um have got an optimistic attitude that you wouldn't usually find in someone like that mm-hmm. and i thought the best way to describe him was the word butterfly now he has to um i would imagine that, uh, from a little bit i understand he has to be treated with uh, special creams and oils and things like that for for yeah whatever, for, right? with the ichthyosis condition uh, his skin peels at a, or his skin produces at a rate 300 times faster than that of a normal person. Mm-hmm. And it, it's, it's almost like a buildup of skin. And to keep that skin from not constantly peeling and drying, um, you have to apply like a, some lotions and some oils right. to keep them hydrated, his um, skin hydrated. Mm-hmm. And to do that, it does a, it's a huge process because it has to happen every morning and every night. I would think, yes. Just because, I mean, the skin has to be hydrated, and so it's not uncomfortable, or so the the folds don't hurt that bad. Now, and it, um, that's pro- that he's got a couple other medical conditions. The right. ichthyosis is the main one, mm-hmm. and doing that stuff with his skin every morning is very, very tough for him. I think. Yeah. Now, is is um is he going to be there and uh, and signing autographs? And- <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, he will be there. <laughs> he would not miss that for the world. I thought he's been saying that it's his his big night is uh, tonight, and he is ready for it. Seven o'clock tonight, East Duplin High School. Uh, mission only three dollars for that, and the proceeds will benefit first uh, the uh, again the foundation uh, for foundation for ichthyosis and related skin types. And you can mm-hmm. go again at firstskinfoundation.org, dot org, where it also has a little blurb about the premiere right up on the front yeah. page there too which is mm-hmm. really nice uh and a wonderful logo did you develop the uh the the logo for the movie is that uh in that picture for yeah. the top news yeah well it's the um the butterfly jackson story the oh, the, yeah. the mm-hmm. sort of rorschach test print ink blot yeah. uh, mm-hmm. uh, of that that's a that's a great logo and just a, that's a wonderful graphics so again, uh, it's coming up tonight, and I know East Dublin High School. It may be a little drive, but uh, get out there and see that. There's going to be some other places too. You're going to be able to make it available, or people can purchase it. Um, yes, probably in the future. I, I, I was telling my parents last night, you never quite know how it's going to go mm-hmm. until tonight. Well, I think um, people, people go see the go people go see the YouTube clip. Go see the YouTube clip on that. And uh, then you will, uh, I think you will want to see the rest of it uh, really well. I hope so. I hope so. Well, Denver, you're on your way as far as a filmmaker, but also this is a very touching and a very moving thing and a wonderful gift for your brother. Uh, Thank and, you. And thanks for being with us this morning. Oh, you're welcome. Uh, this is Coastal Daybreak here on the talk station. What happened on this day in history? The Wayback Machine will fire it up next. <laughs> 